Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ellie. Um, so I apologise for how I look right now. I've literally just woken up. Um, so yeah, today um, this is going to be our pre-travel day for Disneyland Paris. Um, today is Sunday and we actually don't go till Tuesday. Um, but tomorrow I am working. Um, so we're kind of getting everything packed and prepared today. And then we can head off very early Tuesday morning. Um, so yeah, I haven't vlogged since we went to Florida, which was like nearly six months ago now. I'm just trying to get used to filming again. So I thought this video would be good to get me back into that. Um, so yeah, today we just need to pack. I think we've got pretty much everything we need, um, but we are gonna pop out to a shopping center just in case there's some last minute bits that we need to grab. Um, Shannon's coming over as well. Um, so yeah, I just thought I would do a pre-travel day vlog, even though it's not really the pre-travel day, but we can pretend it is. I was gonna make a video a couple of weeks back once we rebooked our second Florida holiday and do just like a double Disney holiday announcement kind of video, um, but I never got around to doing it, so I've not actually kind of really spoken about this trip. Um, so we are going on Tuesday and we come back on Friday. This is my first time going to Disneyland Paris. Jamie has already been before, but it was a long time ago. Um, so I'm really excited. Um, so I, we are getting the ferry over and we are driving and we are staying at the Davy Crockett Ranch, which I'm really excited for. We did look at staying at the Hotel Santa Fe, I believe it was, um, but Jamie wasn't too keen on the way it looked. And we just thought the Davy Crockett Ranch looked really sweet as well. And the pool there looks really good like I cannot wait to go swimming in that pool and as we booked it through Disney um, we've got the extra hours I don't know if that's because we booked it through Disney or if because we're staying on site but we've got the extra hours which we're definitely going to take advantage of and then we've also got the memory maker as well we haven't pre-booked any dining um we want to try Annette's diner I've not really seen too much about it um but it sounds really cool I've read about it online and it's kind of the food that me and Jamie like they said the waitresses serve on roller skates it's an American themed diner um so I'm really really excited to try that that's one place that we are planning on going we did try to phone up last week to try and book that um, but I read online that you can't book it because it's quick service and then we called through the number a couple of weeks ago um, of the Disney because we had to change them up by booking because we've just got a new car so we needed to call up and change the registration for the ferry and for the um, site we're staying at, I'm trying to get my words out here um, and that was fine so we called the same number again the only people we were speaking to were French um, and we couldn't get through to anyone that's speaking English so we weren't able to do that but yeah, other than that, we um, aren't planning on doing any of the other dining experiences. That might change when we get there. And then we are planning on going into Paris as well um, because I've been to France, but I've never been to Paris before. So I really want to go to the Eiffel Tower and just kind of have a walk around that area. Um, we haven't kind of planned the days once we're there. Um, so we're just kind of get, gonna get there and wing it. Um, but yeah, we're hoping we're gonna take some time to go into Paris as well. We might do it one evening once the parks have shut. Um, so we're not kind of taking up time in the parks to go into central Paris. Um, but yeah, we wanna do that as well because it's something that we have never done together. And on Tuesday is actually mine and Jamie's five year anniversary. Um, we haven't like booked this trip for our anniversary, but we were kind of, when we booked it, we were thinking of going this time of year and then we thought, oh, we might as well just kind of book to go on our anniversary to give us something to celebrate. Um, we've bought um, a few things um, already to take with us. Um, Jamie has bought me some clothes and things and yeah, I just thought I'd show you some of the stuff that we have bought ready for this trip. Um, so we are actually taking the ferry and we are driving. Um, we booked the entire trip through Disney direct and then there was three options to fly take the euro tunnel or take the ferry and we decided to take the ferry because it was the cheapest option to be honest and um yeah so we are we're going to drive up to dover early tuesday morning and then obviously cross over and then drive on to disneyland paris i think it's about a three hour drive on the other side um so i spent the other night making a playlist on spotify so we've got some music to listen to 
Um, so yeah, we are obviously having to take our car. Um, so we bought this travel kit. Um, we looked at this in Halfords. Um, a tip if you need one of these and they're 40 pounds. I went on Amazon and got the exact same one for 20 pounds. Um, so yeah, we got this. We had to buy a couple of additional items. Like this one comes with the GB stickers, but we don't really want to put the stickers on our car to go buy some magnets. Um, so yeah, that's a tip if you need one of those. Definitely look on Amazon because it was half the price. And then a couple of things that Jamie bought me for this trip. Um, so he bought me this t-shirt and I don't have any Disney clothing. Um, and I saw this on Etsy and I wanted it for when we go back to Florida again. Um, but he bought it for me so it's just like this t-shirt that says home on it. But it's got the castle and a Mickey Mouse on it. And like I just thought this, I just thought this was really cute. Um, so yeah we got this on Etsy. Um, he did get me quite a large size so I think I'm going to have to sort of tie it up at the bottom. Um, but yeah, I thought this was really cute and I'm gonna have to like try and find a nice cardigan if we go shopping today because I definitely don't think it's gonna be t-shirt weather in Paris, but I still really want to wear it. So I think I have to try and find something to wear with it. He also ordered me some mini ears off the Disney website. So when we were in Florida, I got the rose gold ones um, and then he ordered me these purple ones, which are really cute. Um, and then you'll see a theme because he ordered me purple ears. He also got me some purple shoes to go with it. Um, so Vans are my favourite shoes. Um, so he's also bought me some purple Vans to go with that. So I've got a new outfit already for Disney. He also bought me some new jeans as well. So I am all set. And the final thing we got for this trip, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to show you this, um, but I got a new suitcase. Um, didn't really need a new suitcase, but this one was in Primark ages ago and I really, really wanted it before we went to Florida, but by the time I went back to get it, they had sold out and I hadn't seen it anywhere and they've brought it back and I'm so excited. Oh, I can kind of get it in. Um, so yeah, it's this giant Harry Potter Hogwarts one. Oh, I love this. Um, yeah, I didn't really need another suitcase. Um, I'm going to take it when we go back to Florida, but I thought this is going to be the perfect size to take away just because we're only away for a couple of nights and this will fit everything we need in. Yeah, they were, that's kind of where I'm at now for things that I have bought, um, I just need to sort out what we are going to take and start packing. Um, as I say, Shannon's going to be here in about two hours, um, so I'm going to get myself ready and then start packing.